before you start on this exercise, there's a couple of prerequisites. Firstly, you need to be a subscription customer with Autodesk. Secondly, you need an internet connection. If you don't have both of these, this exercise will not work in its entirety. It will, however, take you through the process on creating an in-place building mass. From the startup screen, click on Open and browse to Chapter 8 and open Chapter 8 Energy Analysis. This file already has a building mass in place. So what I'm going to do with this is delete it. As I said, I want to take you through this process. From the project browser, scroll down and open up Level 1 HVAC Energy Analysis. At this point, we're going to start creating the building mass. Click on the Massing and Site tab and click on In Place Mass. Revit will now display a message saying that Revit has enabled the Show Mass mode so the newly created mass will be visible. This is a temporary show and in general masses will not print or export unless the category is turned on. Let's close the dialog. Give our mass a name, Building 1. Now from the ribbon, I'm going to sketch the outline of the building. For this exercise, I'm not going to be really accurate. So I've traced off the outline, click on Modify, and then select that outline. From the Contextual tab, I can now click on Create Form. From the Quick Access Toolbar, click on the default 3D View button. In here, we will need to see the building, as I want to stretch this mass to match the height of the building. From the View tab, click on Visibility Graphics, go to your Revit links, and turn on the Architecture link. Click on OK. I can now stretch the mass by clicking on the View Cube so I can see the height of the building and using the blue grip to stretch the height of the building. Let's make sure it's more representative. When this is complete, I can click on Finish Mass. Let's just orientate the building so we can see it in its entirety. And then go back to the View tab, Visibility Graphics, and turn off the Revit link again. With the mass now visible, select it. And from the ribbon, click on Mass Floors. We can now create mass floors for the building that when selected will actually give us the floor area for each level. I'm now ready to use the energy analysis tools. From the Analyze tab, click on Enable Energy Model and then Run Energy Simulation. This is where you will need your subscription login and a connection to the internet. Give the analysis a name. And this sends the information up to the Autodesk Cloud. As we see here, Revit gives us a notification that the results have been created. We can now click on the results and compare and have a look at the results of our building analysis. You can see we can scroll down, have a look at the mass, where the building's located, and its energy use. As you carry on through the design process, you can then run other energy simulation tasks and compare the results.